Promise number 10, hope is always alive in your life through faith. I wonder, does hope seem in short supply at the moment? We want our politicians to give us hope in terms of a way forward, doctors to give us hope in how people can be treated, researchers to give us hope that a vaccine will be available soon, hope that schools will be able to go back next week, hope that businesses will survive, hope that our job is secure or if not we can find another one, hope that we'll be able to meet as church sometime before the year is out. We're all looking for hope in a whole variety of places and ways. But in the midst of all this, the Bible continually points us to the hope we have. A hope rooted in the steadfast nature of God and the life and death and resurrection of Jesus. We have hope that God is true to his promise to bring us into relationship with him and to establish his kingdom way of life here on earth now and for ever. This hope has a very definite future orientation. We have a faithful and knowledge resting on the hope of eternal life, which God, who does not lie, promised before the beginning of time, we read in Titus 1 verse 2. For those suffering and oppressed believers around the world, hope of a future where all things are made new is very powerful indeed. It gives hope to endure and motivates boldness and perseverance. But I also believe that we're called to share and embody this hope that we have more than ever before. It's heartbreaking when we witness power corrupting organisations, lies deceiving people in politics and senseless violence. Further, we're not immune to loss or hurt that's crippling in our own lives. When you're tempted to lose hope, remember scripture's promises. Those who sow with tears will reap with songs of joy. Psalm 126. Jesus reminds us that he is with those who mourn in Matthew 5. And he is there with resurrection power. No matter how dire the situation, we serve a God who specialises in beauty out of ashes. Even death does not have the last word. Hope can work that powerfully. To receive it, Jesus encourages us to adopt the innocent and trusting nature of a child from Matthew 19. A child still believes that good will conquer evil and Almighty God is always at work. That gives us cause to praise and remain hope-filled. Paul encourages us, whatever things are true, whatever things are noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever things are lovely, whatever things are good of good report, if they are any virtue, if there's anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. Philippians 4.8 Never stop flexing your hope muscle. Let us pray. God of hope. We ask that today you will fill us with your hope and that we will be beacons of hope in our community. Amen.